We're going to switch into music this morning and talk with a newcomer to the Keys. Now he's an award-winning British record producer who's relocated from London to sunny Key West. He was a legend in the British recording industry. He's already become an element here in the local music scene, recording live bands, and mixing music from around the globe. Ian, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me on your show. Well, Thanks, Janet. It's great having you here, Ian. How long have you been down here in Key West? Um, I've been here 11 months next week. Okay. Um, and uh, it's been fun so far. We're, the first four months we were here, we were doing up our new house and things and building the studio and getting established. Um, and uh, I was waiting for my gear to arrive from London so that I could start working. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, the gear arrived February the 15th, and I have my first client over from England on March the 3rd or 4th. Mm -hmm. So, so you've it's got very right fast. Work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your recording career mm -hmm. again. Well, I started off recording in my grandmother's attic mm -hmm. in South London, and she was about 70 when I started uh, sort of recording in her attic. And I cut my teeth, learned how to record just at the end of punk rock. I had all these very interesting looking people with green hair and, <laughs> and piercings and things wandering through my grandmother's house. <laughs> and she used to make the tea and uh, <laughs> quite enjoy it all. <laughs> and then uh, after I did that, I then ha sort of owned a professional studio in South London, no, in North London in Fulham, mm -hmm. which is a quite nice borough in just north of the river. Mm -hmm. And I was there for 17 years. And I had um, a lot of famous clients back then. Um, I mean, obviously the industry has changed hugely, probably the same with broadcast, I guess, as well. But, but the recording industry, I was doing a lot of indie music. Mm -hmm. um, I used to do a lot of work for Creation Records. We had bands like Oasis and Primal Scream. Um, I probably made more records for Creation Records than I should think any other producer uh, in England, I think. Wow. So I have one client who was five different acts mm -hmm. uh, on the label. And so we just used to keep making back-to-back -back records. Mm -hmm. um, I also worked for all the major record companies at some time or other. Mm -hmm. um, and then sort of towards the end of the 90s, I could sort of see the writing was on the wall for owning a big professional studio. And so I actually moved into my apartment where I lived. I had a soundproof room built in my apartment. Mm -hmm. And I worked there for seven years. And then when I met my now wife, mm -hmm. um, I sold that apartment and I moved into a music complex, which was in North London. Mm -hmm. And I was there for four years and it was, um, that was great. There were like 20 other people doing the same thing as me in the same complex. Mm -hmm. and my next door neighbor was, it was quite a famous rock mixer. He'd done some Foo Fighters and sort of things wow. like that. Mm -hmm. And it was a good sort of uh, experience. Mm -hmm. And I kept on uh, doing records with new acts and I started to win a few awards for some of the things that we were doing. Um, I did a folk album last year that just got nominated for a BBC award. Mm -hmm. And one of my clients won uh, a couple of awards here in America and had some number ones on some of the networks over here. And um, we were looking to live somewhere warmer. Mm -hmm. And um, in a very sort of, sort of cold year, we came to Key West to visit. I have an aunt who lives here. Okay. And we sort of thought, uh, this fits the, the bill. Mm -hmm. and maybe we could try and move here. And it took us a year to work out how we were going to do it logistically, mm -hmm. sell our house, see if we could get a visa to sort of come here. And um, so here we are. Here you are. Yeah. Well, so fortunate for us, Ian, because you, you have such an impressive career. Thank you. So I am sure you're going to do some big things here well, I hope so. for some of the local artists. Yeah. Do you have some artists you already have your eye on, Ian? Well, some people I've already worked with here. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked with. Um, dry out, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, you were saying, well, the Dwarflers, have you done anything no, with No, I'd like yet? to work with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'd also like to work with uh, Bill Blue, mm -hmm. uh, who's actually one of my neighbors. Okay. Um, I've seen him play a few times. And uh, I've done some recording already with um, a guitarist called Larry Bader, mm -hmm. who's he's, uh, he's an ex-New Yorker, and mm -hmm. he's um, used to play in the house band at the Apollo Theatre. Mm -hmm. And I've also done some recording with Richard Crooks. Mm -hmm, who, who I love. Yeah, he's, he's a great. great drummer. And he used to play with Bob Dylan and Paul Simon. Mm -hmm. um, next week I'm recording a band called... Um, go on. All right. <laughs> it will come to <laughs> it will you, come I'm to sure. Me. Yeah, let's cut that. Um, <laughs> and I've also I've had some people come into Key West, and I've been recording them too. So mm -hmm. I had a guy from Norway mm -hmm. called Ren Loren. Mm -hmm. um, and he sort of does trop rock, mm -hmm. even though he lives in Norway. Mm -hmm. I think he's originally from Hawaii, 
So he, he came in and I did a live recording and I'm also mixing his studio album mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, so that's kind of good. I've also had a few British clients over. Mm -hmm. um, my first client over here was a, a guy called Matt Backer, mm -hmm. who's a really famous session guitarist in London. Mm -hmm. um, he's just put his new album out and one of the tracks on that is a duet with Julian Lennon. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's going to be the first single in America. Great. Um, so he was here three weeks after all my gear arrived from, mm -hmm. from London. Mm -hmm. um, and it was very hard to keep him in the studio. He's a very fast <laughs> musician. He okay. works very fast, but mm -hmm. he was only here for five days, and a day and a half of that he spent scuba diving. Oh, no. Um, yeah. But he we still to managed to get it. We had to get everything. We got everything done. So Good. It and was okay. Ian, what do you like to do for fun here in the Keys? Well, I guess when I'm not working, we like to cycle, um, funnily enough. I, I don't think I've been on a bicycle for 30 years. Mm -hmm. before we came here. But it's such a great island to get around on bicycle. So we cycle around and we see stuff, we go into town, we see music, we eat out. I'd like to learn to sail mm -hmm. while I'm here because mm -hmm. I've, I've never done that before. I think it would be fun. So I play a lot of tennis. That was mm -hmm. one of the reasons that I came here in the first place was the idea that I could play tennis mm -hmm. all year round. It seemed oh. like a cool idea. Well, you are definitely going to be enjoying the sunshine, yeah, that's definitely. for sure. Yeah. Ian, thank you so much for being okay. on this morning. And if our viewers want any more information on you, they can check out the website that's been on the bottom of the screen. Yep. I thanks. know you'll do big things here, Ian, so I'm excited to have you back more. Thanks, mm -hmm. Jenna. Thanks for having me on the show. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after this. Stay with me. <laughs>